for me, this is dead serious. There's nothing more serious than saving lives. Well, when these kids put their lives in your hand, or, or the mothers and fathers put these kids' lives in your hand, it's a serious business. There's nothing to play with. The Downtown Boxing Gym is a youth program in Detroit that's free for the kids in the community. We teach them to box. We have tutors who uh, help bring the kids' grades up. My goal is to have graduates, you know, you can become a boxing champion, you can win a gold medal, and your life and your career can end right there on the spot. You know, one punch can change your life. If you can imagine saying that, you know, I just left school, I'm about to go to an after-school reading program, and your friends are gonna laugh at you, especially those knuckleheads, the ones who are not really uh, motivated to do anything positive in life, they're gonna talk about you so bad that you're gonna be like, yeah, you're right, I ain't going. But if you say, I'm going to a boxing gym, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, for real? Let me come with you, I wanna go too. You know, and now I got you here, you, you might wanna hit the bag, but once you hit the bag, I tell you, before you touch my bag, you gotta go touch those books. When I first met Coach Kali, he told me I had to be serious and train hard, and he don't play. And if you play around, he gonna kick you out. I got busy with my math. My math, I was doing horrible. But once I stayed focused, I was running through my math homework easy. And I was two grades behind, so now I'm in my right grade now, so I'm happy for that. When I'm in the ring, I feel sweet, you know? I feel like I can beat anybody. Sometimes you can be frustrated or your mind can be clouded and I can just come here and take it out on the bag. It's like they, my second family, basically. It's like you're accepted, you know? It's not a lot of girls that's out here doing it, so it's like, it's feel, it feels like you're making a change. Coach Kali, he is my favorite coach. I like him very much. First, when I came to this gym when I was six years old in kindergarten, I didn't know how to jump rope, but I tried my best. I'm a 4.0 student, and I love school. This is my house right there. This is a, this, that's a two-family flat. It's still there since I was a baby. I, I had pictures sitting at that window when I was like three years old, believe it or not. My biological parents, uh, they were going through a lot of the problems that a lot of people were going through in the 80s and the late 70s and the 80s. They had, uh, they had some addiction things going on. Leo and Urban Clemens, they, they raised me. Those are my parents as far as I'm concerned. I would go to school every day with just this anger in my heart, like, you know, like I'm like an outcast because here it is, I'm staying with these two older people. It's clear that you can see that they're not my parents because they're so old and like, I'm, and, but they family taking me in as if I'm their family, but I know that they're not my family. So I got a chip on my shoulder, like a mile high. And, I, and so by the third grade, I still had to learn how to read or write. I didn't learn how to read or write till I was like in my twenties. So that's why education is so important to me as far as with these kids. It's like for me, whenever the books start coming my way in the fifth grade, if I'm in the fourth chair and the book is on the third chair, I'm already gearing up. In my mind, I'm like, before this book get here, I'm gonna sock this guy in the jaw right here. Anything to get out of class before I be exposed as a kid that can't read. You're not gonna embarrass me. I'd rather get kicked out of school than to get embarrassed as a kid who can't read. It took my brother to actually tell me one day, he's like, man, do you realize that all your friends are dead or in prison? And I was, I was standing right over there on that corner when he told me that. This guy's in prison, life, 35 years. Uh, life, life, he did, he did, he did. All my friends are dead or in jail, man. I was like, he's like, I'm telling you, you need to get out that neighborhood, and which is this neighborhood where we're standing at right here on the east side, Harper and Van Dyke area. He was telling me, he's like, man, you need to get out that neighborhood. I was like, dang, you're right. I need to change my life and do something. Good body shot, girl. Like I started out teaching my son and my daughter how to box, uh, more and more kids came. I could see myself in a lot of these kids. I'm like, this dude is acting out in a way that's familiar to me. So I say, hey man, can you read that for me right quick? And, ah oh, man, coach, you, you got it? No, man, why don't you read that for me? 
oh, you have a problem. So let's see about getting you some help. 